te atamihi, nei ranga mihi ki o koutou. Koutou e whare ki nei o koutou whakaaro, koutou e hora nei i o koutou pūmanawa e ki te ae te nei ranga mihi ki o koutou. Um, to echo Papa Shane's kōrero, and to carry on from what Christian was sharing, uh, what I received and what I heard from Christian is our rangatahi are scared, our rangatahi are worried, and our rangatahi don't know what to do in these times. To carry on from what Papa Shane was talking about, it is us that help our rangatahi. And I'm going to put myself in a hakoe ke kenga tima e rua pe i tēnei wa. Um, a, a good example of that and why I've been here going for, so, for a few pokai now is the support I have from my pakeke. I don't stand here alone, I stand here with their support and that empowers me. And so I think that example is what Papa Shane was talking about. It's using karakia, and within karakia we have whakapapa. Within whakapapa we can draw on our tūpuna to empower our rangatahi and remind them that this isn't the first time we've gone through this. This is the first time you're going through it, but this won't be your last. And how can we prepare them to navigate these turbulent times is by teaching them about themselves, is sharing their whakapapa with them. I look across at Te Tumua ki ki ākwe e honi, and ka kite a hau i a te waharoa, ka kite a hau i a wire mu tamehana, ka kite a hau i a tupu taenga kawa, kei te kite i ākwe i te neira. Ki roto i a ngāti haua, ka whakarewa, haua reo, haua tangata, our real strategy. One of the pau in that real strategy is focused solely on rangatahi. And it's teaching Ngāti Haua Rangatahi about Ngāti Haua so they can go out into the big wide world, stand in their own autonomy, stand in their mana Māori motuhake, and it doesn't matter who's in front of them, they know their truth. And it's that truth that will help them navigate these times. Papa Shane's talking about karakia within, within karakia, kōrero tuku iho, our historical narratives. And from those historical narratives, we can draw on examples of strategies used in the past. I look, um, in the 15th century, we saw the application of Doctrine of Discovery and Kariru Ngā Whenua. Uh, 1814 is another round of the application of the Doctrine through Te Tiriti o Waitangi, Kariru Ngā Whenua. 2024, those same applications are being shared by Hana today. Those breaches are happening today. However, one thing we have different in 2024 than we did in 1840 and in the 15th century are our tangata tiriti allies. So there is the importance and the value that they can contribute into the space. And so we as Māori focus on our kaupapa and we can bring tangata tiriti along with us because now more than ever is when we need their help. Now more than ever is when they're more vocal on social media we never had these allies in the past. And these allies are going to help reinforce this army to help us navigate these times. Uh, I think Wai Horoi mentioned it in Waitangi. Uh, David united the Iwi Māori, um, just not with him. Um, what David also done was made those sitting on the fence, they were like, yeah, that's kind of wrong, but it's all good because that's happening to them, not to me. What they've done was drop that fence and now they're feeling like, oh, I feel like I need to help now. I feel like I need to contribute. And that's what our rangatahi are going to have to work with in their time. So it's one thing to tie everyone with the same brush, but also remember te whanau, he hoa hoki to o tātou ki roto i te nā tīma. Ne, um, bring them in, and I know I'm probably just me, anake, e kōrero tēnei ana, he oi anō, giving effect to te tiriti o waitangi and our partners will demonstrate how we can navigate these spaces together. He oi anō, tēnā rā tātou.